What it do everyday people man, it's your boy PJ Today we back with another lit video Back in the confessional And yes, we staying lit big dog Man, shout out to my everyday people Who rock with me every day And shout out to the homie Lucky Wheels of Deals Pulled up on me yesterday at the Turkey Leg Cabana uh, Shout out to the Wolf Pack and Cool Kids So Cool Fam Big Nike PRP Happy birthday to Big Nike PRP I'm, I didn't celebrate for your birthday, but next next year, next year we on big dog. Don't even trip, Crip. Hey, make sure y'all check out HiveMindLabs.com. So HiveMindLabs.com, just hit the affiliate link below, okay, and start your 30 day uh, weight loss journey. We doing mine starting today. Super fat burn, okay? We starting it today, all right? So, y'all get in tune with your boy, man. Lose this weight and feel great. I'll win along, okay? All right, hey. <laughs> now, if you woke up this morning and was like, man, Charlene is tripping. I wonder what PJ gonna say about this. Well, you thought right because I have some words to say. Charlene Nation, stand up, big dog. Come on, man. We got to hold this heifer accountable. Matter of fact, shout out to the anti hyena squad. Anti hyena. This is top draft pick for hyena of the week. Like, who would do some nonsense like this? Let's hear what, uh, Oh, royalty had to say, and we all know she leaked the uh, the whole message to her uh, supporters. You know how that crazy. Anyway, it says, "Let something happen to my kids, cause oh, oh they, she wasn't cripping. She was, let something happen to my kids, cause your lazy ass wants to send them to school because you don't know how to control or tame them." Did all that fighting just to send them off to strangers? F S M H. I'm a, I, as much as I want to just attack right now. I'm gonna finish reading because it's, it, it's taking me a long time to read this damn thing. Because you know, C J says, "What the hell are you talking about? You let your mom black both my kids' eyes. Get off my line." And royalty responds. Call CPS then, cry baby as. Okay? Then uh, CJ's response Don't have to. I'll just beat you in court. He sounds like a petty white woman. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to CJ for keeping it real. Like, I'm not. I ain't gotta call CPS, girl. You they are already on your ass. Matter of fact, CPS is watching this. <laughs> and they gonna be back on your ass. But anyway, let's get to her first message. Let something happen to my kids cause your lazy ass wants to send them to school. Okay, Charlene, let me let me let me let me uh put it like this. Okay, yes, he's a stay at home father. But CJ is not a Head Start teacher. CJ is not a teacher. CJ is not a daycare worker. CJ uh, doesn't have any special education to be able to train his kids to read, write, and arithmetic. Okay? He doesn't. Let's face it. CJ is perfect in many ways, but this teaching his kids how to uh, learn how to spell and paint and do all this stuff, he's not that. Now, had he been with Lexi, you know, Robin, Robin is an a artsy, craftsy, Pinterest white woman, okay? She could have had them kids uh, making uh, macaroni noodle uh, pictures and, you know, making claymations and all type of stuff by the age of five, okay? <laughs> These kids would have been hired on Pixar, if they if uh robin was around okay but she's not okay so um he has to send them to school i mean he already tried to hire a nanny and y'all made him feel bad about that like what rich person don't have a nanny and y'all like see this is why i hate broke people who always bash rich people for doing rich people things like man 
you know, I had to wake up with my baby this morning. I had to feed her. Then I had to put her back to sleep. And then I, I had to wait till she sleep to come in here and do this. Okay? So, having a baby is not fun. It's hard work. And if I was rich, I'd put it off on some young white woman. Okay? <laughs> Just how they used to do black people. Like, put the teddy in your mouth. Okay? You know what I'm saying? That's how you do it. But, no. So, he's sending them off to school. What kind of woman don't want the kids to go to daycare, preschool? Hmm. A hyena. Okay. This is about the dumbest text she could have ever sent somebody. This is the dumbest text she could have exposed. Why would you expose something as dumb as this? Oh, I just went on him, called him lazy for taking his kids to school. If you ain't about the most dumbest thing in the world, anyway. Because you don't know how to control or tame them. Tame? These ain't no little uh, baby lions, no little cubs. It's a kids. It's a children for Christ's sakes. And, and first of all, can you tame or control your own kids? Because a uh, nation is running wild. Jalea's fighting and showing her butt off at public pools, wearing thongs and stuff. And Leon. Leon is Leon. I don't know. He he just went into a shell and said, you know, I ain't coming out till I'm 18 because this, this ain't it. This cannot be my life right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when Leon said, well, you just got to do what you can do when you can do it. Talking about his clothes. I knew he was just like, man, this is BS. <laughs> Last year, I was the best dressed this year. I'm... Blending in, look at that. <laughs> He's still wearing the belt that he wore last first year, the first day of school. <laughs> but whatever, that's neither here nor there. But um, then she said, "Did all that fighting just to send them off to strangers?" Listen, royalty is living in a world of uh, disillusion. Okay. Royalty is so disillusioned that she let her baby stay home with Jamie every day for two years straight and he was missing school. That's why the kid is two years behind. So just because she don't want the kid to be with strangers, she don't want the kid to uh, go to doctor's appointments. She don't want a lot. She wants the kids to be hers by herself. Okay. Uh, sometimes you need some help ask for help it's okay but you want to just keep your kids out of school you don't want them to go to daycare that's dumb that's hella dumb but you don't want them to learn you don't want them to be around other children you don't want them to become super kids where they catch every cold and sickness there is known to man you don't want that to happen that's how they build up their immune system. You see the kids, are, one of the kids is allergic to everything under the sun. You know, one year in daycare, she'll, she'll be sniffing uh, uh, pollen like it ain't nothing, okay? <laughs> she'll be sniffing dog hair like it ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? But um, <laughs> I'm just saying, CJ takes his kids to school on, on the first day. You just let yours walk out the door and start drama. CJ creates a wonderful video with his two children. You go off to Los Angeles to get some fish and fries. Now, I'm not saying that you can't go to Los Angeles, but don't you got kids at home? Okay? Don't you got kids at home you need to be tended to? Instead of chasing around some person who's robbing women and drugging them allegedly i'm just saying hey listen royalty this is not the this is not the call i, I i'm i'm shocked that you would send something as stupid as this but then again i'm not shocked and then i'm not even shocked that you would share this to the t pages okay who really don't give a man if they, 
I bet every everybody in this broke ass panel was like, "Yeah, he need to, he ain't he ain't doing nothing all day. He need to just take care of the twins. Why he gotta send them to school?" See, this is this is why people stay broke because he sent them to school for one, the obvious reasons. Okay, two. He has a job to do. He has to make content. He has to get with other creators. He has to move around. Yes, it's difficult to do with kids. No doubt about it. Doesn't make it, it's not an excuse to uh, take him to school, but it's, it's just, he has to handle business. And, you know, carrying two twins into a business meeting while they're running around is not a good look. So shout out to CJ for doing the right thing, um, and I, I I applaud CJ and other fathers out here um, doing the right thing for their kids. And you messy, no good, downright scoundrel women that support whatever the heck royalty is saying, you're just out of line. If one person, I, I'm looking for one person to say the truth, nothing but the truth. I want them to say nothing but the truth on this. I don't want them to lie. Is CJ wrong for taking his kids to school? And is CJ lazy for taking? Just be truthful. You you get on CJ about everything else, but be lying. Just tell. Um, this is just my opinion. Tell the truth. Is CJ lazy for taking his kids to school? With, in quotation marks. Anyway. Just because you wanted your kid to sit. Listen, at least CJ take his kids to school. You was mad at Jamie for not taking his kids to school. So you didn't take, you didn't make sure your kid went to school every day. Charlene, you didn't make sure. Your mama, Tacky Tanya, didn't make sure them kids, that kid made it to school every day. And then you got her out here and you want to, you want to talk about CJ getting the kids to school. But you didn't let your child go to school you didn't allow that you let her stay home every day miss school you remember charlene you did that so if anybody needs to be taking some kids to school is you matter of fact go to your kids school and check on them meet their teachers have you done that why didn't you go to nation's graduation or assembly? Why? Answer that. Before you get on CJ, answer all these questions. What's wrong with you being a parent and taking your kids to school? You know what? Why don't you be a good co-parent and continue to take your kids to school so you and Van can sit in the house and wallow in your pity? Because you ain't got nothing to do because the kids are off to school. I didn't do nothing but sit around and blow out my hair. I took some passes pics. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this heifer. Charlene Nation, stand up. Throw your Charlene Nations in the chat. Shout out to Big Nike PRP. You just wait till she get back to Las Vegas. Because when she hear about this, she going to have a field day with your ass. Everyday people, man. Make sure y'all check out HiveLabs.com and uh, HiveMindLabs.com. I'm tripping. Hit the link below. Make sure you get your two free entries um, by sharing. Take a screenshot, send it to Everyday Thing with PJ on Instagram, and you in, baby. Remember, we got the um, the the Save Maui Fund. You can get. Every dollar you donate is one free entry. Well, not free entry. One entry into the drawing. Because you're going to pay a dollar. But it's going to the Maui uh, Relief Fund. Okay? So make sure you put in Maui. And then you put your Instagram name in the, uh, in the notes when you send the cash out to dollar sign everyday PJ. So I know. I'm going to take a screenshot. I'm going to post everybody's. Screen, I'm post everybody's cash out so we can be transparent with this uh, donation. Okay, I don't need the money, Maui does. Okay, and I'm just trying to get my supporters on board. Okay, and I want to give y'all all y'all credit. 
Then once y'all get in, I'm gonna put your name in the a board and we're gonna put all the donate donors out. I'm gonna put your YouTube, you can put your YouTube name, we ain't gonna put your Instagram name if you don't want to, you know. And uh yeah, that's how we're gonna do that. Alright. Everyday people, man, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'm holla to later, peace. <laughs>